Right, Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim El Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS that rule well. Citations unto the elect Akim that are enduring sincerely, enduring this work with all long suffering and sound doctrine. <coughs> so, like it. So, what I, I just want to get into real quick, it's going to be a quick video. Um, is, you know, when we are, just to get straight to the point, when we are doing this work, and we're dealing with people in this world, man. We have to know who we're dealing with. You know, we have to be able to to, to discern the spirits. You know, the Most High, He gave His Spirit unto the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to um, not only teach His Word and understand His Word, but to discern spirits and to um, do wonders and signs. All right. And one of those spiritual gifts that uh, the Most High Yahweh Shemuel Shai has given us is to be able to, to discern spirits and to know who you're dealing with, right? You know, because you have certain Israelites in this world that look like they're Edomites, okay? Which, th this is exactly why I have this, the book of Ezra, the ninth chapter up, okay? Because you you may have a, um, a Israelite that looks like a so-called uh, so white man or a, a so-called... Um, uh, Japanese man, or look, just look like a heathen nation in general. But you know, um, he could be a Jake, you know, on his father's side. So that's what that's why when it comes to dealing with people, we have to be able to discern spirits, man. Even when we out in this world, you know what I'm saying? You have to be able to, to know who you're dealing with because you don't know who you're dealing with, man. You know, we, we've been spread out throughout the four corners of the earth for our. For our trespasses, man. So, hey, we, we eventually we would we would start looking like heathen nations, okay? So, hey, just real quick, and we're willing. This is edifying. Um, this is the book of Ezra, chapter nine, and verse seven. It says, "Since the days of our fathers, have we been in great trespass unto this day, and for our iniquities, have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered into the hands of uh, the hand of the kings of the lands?" Right. So. Through the trespasses and through the um, the wickedness that our fathers did, our forefathers did, you know, we were delivered unto curses, and part of that curse, part of the curses, was us being spread throughout the four corners of the earth for our trespasses, man. That's part of a curse that we're under. Okay, so we we um, it says we have been delivered into the hand of the kings of the lands, so we were spread out. You know, you had like you have um. In, in the book of, what is it, the book of um, Acts, the second chapter is a perfect example of our people being spread throughout different different countries, different provinces, you know, being under the hands of different kings of different nations, okay? And what do you, what do you think our people weren't mingling in with those different nations? Hell yeah, they were mingling in with those different nations, man. They were, yeah, they, they, were, they were popping those women of different nations, man. And eventually, you know, through the course of time, our people started looking like those nations, man. And that's the same thing until this day. You know, and a perfect example of the confusion of face, you know, um, and, and which actually made me think of this lesson was um, Diana Ross's son. I mean, uh, daughter. Okay. Um, Tracy Ellis Ross. Okay. You know, which Diana Ross is, a, she's an Israelite. Okay, but she she had sex with an um with a heathen, an Edomite. Okay, therefore making her her daughter Tracy Ellis Ross, who looks like a Jake, who looks like a so-called Negro. She's actually an Edomite, man. All right. And then on the flip side, you have um, a perfect example is um, the boxer um, Canelo Alvarez, man, who looks like an Edomite. But he's a full-blown Issacharite, man, of the tribe of Issachar, a so-called Mexican. All right? So we, we, that's why we, that's, we have to know who we're dealing with. We have to know what's going on. We have to be consciously uh, conscious of the spirit, man. You know? It says, uh, we have been delivered into the hand of the kings of the lands to the sword, to captivity, and to a spoil, and to confusion of face as it, as it is this day. All right, because you don't know who you're dealing with. You know, just like a while ago, I vividly, vividly remember, you know, uh, 
that nigga Zabak, man. You know, he was cursing out, um, he was cursing out a so-called, I believe a so-called Moabite, okay, which when you, when you check out that guy's spirit when he was conversing with him, you know, that guy, that guy was more unlikely a Jake, man. And he was cursing him out, saying, we don't deal with, we don't deal with heathens, and we don't, you know, which we don't deal with heathens, man, but that's how you know certain men aren't, um, conscious of the, the Holy Spirit, man. You know, and we here at GMS, you know, we're, we're conscious of the Holy Spirit, and you can tell by by um, how we how we deal with people. You have certain brothers that are in the camps that look like so-called Edomites, man. You know, but their forefather, their, their, um, their father, goes back to like, maybe like Italian or, or Black Irish, you know, which they look like Edomites. Okay, but they're actually of the stock of Israel. All right. So, hey, that, that was the point of it, man. Not only when we hit the highways do we have to be conscious of the spirit, but when we move through our daily lives, when we go into the plantation, you know, or when we may go out and, you know, uh, um, fellowship with the brothers, maybe go out to a bar, whatever, man. We have to be conscious of the, the, uh, the Holy Spirit, man. We have to be conscious of the people that we're around and pay attention, you know, being, being circumspect, all right? So with that being said, I'm going to say, Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua, Hashem, Kwaku, Dash, Brother Thumb. Um, by Shem Kwakwadash and Shalom, Lord willing, it was edifying unto the um, to the younger brothers and uh, the women and children that follow in sincerity and in order. You know, that being said, I say Shalom.